Now, let's take a look at a program that uses integer and floating point variables to do a calculation. This is in step 3, and it's 0, 1, underscore calc. My intention here is to calculate the grand total of an item by starting with its subtotal, that's its price minus tax, and then calculating the amount of tax that's due on it by multiplying the subtotal value by whatever happens to be the current tax rate. And here I'm assuming that the tax rate is going to be 17.5%, which, when it's expressed as a floating point number, is 0 0.175. So here you can see that to obtain tax, I just do this calculation, subtotal multiplied by tax rate. And then I calculate the final price, that's the grand total, what the purchaser would actually pay, by adding the tax onto the subtotal. And once again here, I use the printf function to display the results. Remember that the three place markers, that's percent %d, are replaced by the values of the three matching variables, which here are subtotal, tax, and grand total. If I run the program, that pops the command prompt, and this is the result I see. But there's a problem here. Now, if you can't see what that is, try doing the same calculation using a calculator. I calculated the tax on 200, and that's 200 multiplied by 0.175, and the tax owing is 35. But according to my program, it says it's 34. Let's have a look why that's the case. Well, it's due to the fact that I've calculated using a floating point number, that's the double variable tax rate, but I've assigned the result to an integer number, that's the int variable tax. An integer variable can only represent numbers with no fractional part, so any values after the floating point are ignored. That's the fractional part, it's just truncated. That's introduced the error, and in my code, that's shown the incorrect value. Now, that error is quite easy to fix, and you can see my rewritten code here. That's in 0 to underscore calc, and in my editor in CodeLite, I have to switch the project to make it the active project before I build and compile. Now let's look at the code here. This time, all my variables are doubles. So none of the values is truncated. I've also used the percent %f specifiers to display the float values in the string which I've passed to the printf function. In fact, you'll see that the format specifiers in this string also include a dot and a number, like this, percent dot two %f. This tells the printf function to display at least two digits to the right of the decimal point. So, in principle, this program should now calculate the correct amount. Remember, that's 35 for the tax instead of 34, as in my previous program. Let me run it to see if it does. And there it is. The tax on 200, and here I'm displaying the numbers as floating points with two digits after the point, on 200 is 35. So the grand total is 235. So be aware of the problems that errors might occur in your programs if you are working with floating point numbers and integers together. But that sort of truncation which we saw here in the previous program may result, and that could cause an erroneous value to be displayed.